So this week's challenge or task is gates or gated um, and that's quite challenging itself to find a inspiring gate to take a picture of. I um, haven't really got a plan of what I'm going to take a picture of yet. Um, I know a gate needs to be in it or an interpretation of a gate at least. Um, I've come to somewhere in my local area um, just to have a look around. I've been here before um, and shot an image here before when I first got my DSLR actually because um, I know there's a couple of gates here so um, yeah I think my idea at the moment is to shoot something maybe looking past the gate um, and have the gate either in the foreground um, use a bit of depth of field that sort of thing um, but I guess we'll see when we um, when we get to them what I, what I can what I can shoot around it um, I'm hoping to do one of these videos every every week um, whether that lasts or not I don't know um, but we'll see um, I've got the completely wrong shoes on for this. Um, as you can see, it's quite muddy. I've got a pair of trainers on. And you can just see up there, it's a gate coming up. So I'll see what we can see and I'll let you know. I should say, actually, the kit that I've got with me today is my uh, D3300, my Nikon D3300, um, my 35mm Prime my Tamron 18-200 and my phone which is a Samsung S8 um, my previous image that I took was taken on my Samsung so I know that it can take some pretty good pictures um, not obviously as good as my DSLR but good enough I think for myself I should probably say actually it's about why I'm bothering to film these um, it's the first time I've ever done this um, I'm subscribed to a lot of photography channels on YouTube itself um, and what with it being sort of first week of January I thought why not um, you don't know unless you try and I've picked up a lot of good tips from other photographers um, I picked up a lot of inspiration from a lot of other photographers on YouTube um, so I thought if I can give something even if it's something a little bit interesting to some other photographer or someone younger than me that's just starting out they're brilliant um, but like I say you don't know unless you try so we'll see how it goes as I said before I'm not sure how many of these will be done um, obviously being 52 that's quite a big ask um, but we'll see we'll see how it goes I've brought with me my um, Nikon wireless adapter um, which I got for Christmas um, because I've got an iPad and a, an Android phone with Lightroom on it um, and the Nikon D3300 doesn't have a wireless capability built in um, I wanted to be able to at least look at or edit some of my images on the go um, they do tend to suffer, suffer with a bit of compression um, the quality dips a little bit but um, at least if I can look at the image on the go on a bigger screen um, I'll know that I'm happy with it so I'm going to give that a go today um, I might even attempt to edit it in the car and see, see how we get on um, and now walking up a bloody big hill I, forgot, I actually forgot this was here um, but I know there's a gate at the end of it um, I keep slipping as well I'm uh, worried I'm actually going to fall over because I've only got trainers on trainers which have been heavily used with no grip so you can imagine wet weather, mud and no grip on your shoes that's the view I'm walking away from currently. 
I might see if I can take some images on the way back of differing things. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, the plan for this year really is just to focus a bit more on my photography. Um, focus a bit more on my Instagram page and maybe see, you know, see where this goes, see where this ends up. Um, it's okay now because I'm on my own in the middle of a field, but if I need to take an image of, I don't know, a portrait or something, that might, I might find that a bit difficult to vlog somewhere else. But we'll see. Oh, it's bloody freezing as well. And problem. As you can see, this is going to be tricky to say the least. <laughs> I bloody knew that was going to happen. Oh, the side of my foot's getting wet. Um, it's a bit harder than I was expecting. Um, I can't walk through that. Um, Christ, I need to invest in some wellies, don't I? Um, well, I did take a, a shot of my Samsung. Um, which if it's any good I'll put it up but um, I was sort of going for the opening the gate um, sort of perspective um, so we'll see how that turns out but I just can't get close to that gate I'll, I'll get my I'll get my telephoto lens out and see see what I can take um, from a bit further back but that's annoying, that's really annoying. Right, I've got my telephoto lens on um, and I'm going to attempt to try and get something whilst I'm up here. Let's see how we get on. Right, I'm going to try and cross this path. Um, let's see if I can get anything from the other side. Oh god, it's muddy. Alright. If I could frame anything around here, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm failing miserably here. Um, out of the photos I actually took, I think my initial one, my Samsung one, might be the better one that I've taken, but I'll have to have a look and see. Um, please don't fall over, please don't fall over, please don't fall over. I need it. I'm going to walk back down, see if I can't take anything of the other gates. Um. Walking back down the hill, I've just turned around and just seen a pheasant run across. I'm going to try and get an image of it. No, it hasn't. I don't know where that went. Just shot into this sort of grassy crop area. Can't see it. Damn it. So walking down this path, um, I thought I'd be best place walking up here as it's less muddy. Um, and as I came up, I spotted this. So I think this could be a good composition actually for an image. Um, with a tree standing out, a little gate in front, um, gate slash fence. Yeah, I think that was successful actually. I think I've got some good images there. Um, the tree was sort of the focal point. Um, 
the gate ended up, well, the gate fence, whatever you want to call it, um, was sort of in the foreground. So I'm trying to try and save my life. Um, I've done a couple where the, the fence gate was um, in focus, out of focus. Um, but we'll see how they turn out. I'll have a look now and um, see what they look like. If they're not, if they're not great, then I'll move on to somewhere else. All right, so I'm back in the car now. Um, I'm going to attempt to transfer these images using my new adapter. Um, and just have a look at them, get them edited, and see how they turn out. So if you're not familiar, um, this is what the wireless adapter looks like. If it'll focus, come on. Go. It's a W1A and you just slip that into the side of the camera and then you go menu just try and do this one handed uh, wireless adapter is on and then you go to your mobile device or iPad which I'll show you now. So this is the app the Nikon wireless mobile utility. You go to your settings tab and under the Wi-Fi you'll see your Nikon wireless utility. Connect to that and then if we fire back to the Nikon app. You've got up here is your connection status and then take photos and view photos. So if we go view photos, uh, pictures on D3300, and then that should load up all your images. So I've now gone into select. So if I select an image, um, you'll get the option to download. So it's download, and then you've got original recommended size or VGA, and we're gonna go original, then hit download and then it will download your file. It's obviously going to take a while, so I'll let you know when it's downloaded. And here's the image in Lightroom. Um, I went for the recommended size in the end, um, just because it was a bit quicker to download. Um, and here it is. So I'm going to edit this and see how we go.